months at one time. Mm. I was living with four other women in a house in Seattle. And in my brain, it was going to be this cool, eco-lesbian, like, <laughs> collective. Sure. And we were all going to, like, sit around and knit together and mm-hmm. make our own honey wine. And that's not what it was like at all. <laughs> it was the worst. <laughs> it was awful. Ugh. Anyway, so you might have a point about people. Aw. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. Um, I saw Spider Man, the you, new one. Did you like it? I did. That young guy is he okay? Because yeah, okay, he's yeah, my hang he does up. A good job. Have you not seen any of the other ones yet? Not that he's in. Um, I mean, he's in Avengers. He is, yeah. But his part is so small. I just feel like there's something about him I'm not connecting with. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, but someone small. told me they liked him as Spider Man. He was actually their favorite one because he is so self-effacing and mm-hmm. like unsure yeah. and it's high school and he's uncertain or well it's nice to be finally watching a movie that's about kids in high school with kids that are high school age <laughs> yeah, not 22 it's, years yeah. old yeah <laughs> yeah Ooh, on that point did you see that 90210 is coming back i heard that they were yes how can they do that without luke perry that seems weird yeah <laughs> I mean, do they they've address got, his death in there somewhere? They're going to have to, because yeah. they've got everyone else, mm-hmm. it seems, from the original cast. Hmm. Got Shannon Doherty in a Zen garden meditating, mm. you know, and mm. then, you know, Ian Ziering and Jenny Garth are exactly their same characters, it seems like. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. <laughs> no, I still, I'm curious. It's morbid curiosity. I want to see how they can do it without Dylan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not... Uh, I'm not caring so much about it. I, I don't. I don't know. You wouldn't check it out. No, I'm. I'm more excited about the about the about mad about you coming back. Oh, <laughs> I feel like you've been talking about that for over a year. They were filming it. Okay. Um, I don't know where it's going to come out or where I'm going to be able to watch it. But yeah. I, I'm. Well, I think I'm the only person who cares. Very you possibly. might be. <laughs> yeah. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm all right with it. I don't mind. I don't know. Did they already cancel Murphy Brown? Probably. The reboot of that, I think so. Yeah, I didn't hear I, about that coming back. It hasn't any, been anymore. on late night TV lately. No. Mm. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. What else? I'm, uh, you I saw know. The Dead Don't Die. I didn't see it. You, I, well, you I paid to see it. Went yeah, into the went theater. Into the theater <laughs> and then promptly fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, was, yeah, okay. Was, yeah, so I'll try not to give you any other spoilers, except there I'll is a lot of. Point. I'll go back and watch it. A lot of jokes where you're like, ah, oh, Jim Jarmusch is making fun of himself making a zombie movie. It's a blessing and a curse, right? Because I don't know that I would have fallen asleep in a regular theater. But, but we went the to the we went to the the yeah the Billmore the one, the AMC oh, dining thing, and so yeah. I just like laid back and yeah, because well, and also. There were only two showings of it. It was like an afternoon showing or the eleven o'clock showing. So yeah. we went to the eleven at night one, and I was I was done. I was tired. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised it's even still in theaters at all. This was I, several weeks ago at this point. It probably oh, isn't anymore. yeah, I haven't seen you for three weeks. That's it's been true. a while. Yeah. So you haven't yet seen yesterday or the Elton John movie. I don't know. I'll if I'll check out either one of them possibly if they show up streaming somewhere, but I wasn't super gung ho about it. Paying for it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I probably will go see the Bruce Springsteen one. When is that coming out? It should be coming out soon if it's not out already. Oh. It hmm. should be, maybe it's next month, but um it's gotten pretty decent reviews mm-hmm. and um it's based on a true story. I think it's um yeah. 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 <laughs> so, and it's basically person from who of Indian descent who is cottoned on to Springsteen and decided that, you know, he's his way out of his life. What do you mean? Playing his music? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a similar premise, kind of, to the Yesterday movie. Well, but so he's yes- just listening to it. Oh, okay. Because yeah. Yesterday is like, nobody else remembers. And this is also supposed guy. to take place, like, in the, the 80s. Oh, okay. That's kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. I think so. I, I haven't read a ton about it yet, but the uh, when we went to see Spider-Man, there was a preview for it, and it looked good. Spider-Man. Did we talk about that? Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Well, yeah, because... My hang-up. Okay. Yeah, we did. Okay, um, edit this part out then. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have to actually edit this episode. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh. <laughs> Production value. <laughs> Yay. It does sound better. I can tell through the headphones. Um, I mean, than usual? No, no? nothing changed. This isn't new? Oh, never no, mind. No, it's all... Just that for... Everybody's up a little bit more. Um... I did change the air filter. Maybe that's that it. could be it's a little quieter. <laughs> well, you know, so it would. It took. I had crisper. to. I had to. I didn't want to order air filters from Amazon and have them shipped here, but I went to Home Depot. I went to Target. I went to. Um, I went to a few other places and was looking for this size air filter, which is fourteen them? by fourteen, In and they side? don't. Yeah, they don't have them. Uh isn't it your landlord's responsibility? No, that was in the lease, actually. Oh. That it was my responsibility to. Oh, okay. I figure, you know, I change this once a month. It's not that bad. And no. they cover all the water costs and everything. So. Oh, that's not a bad trade off yeah. at all. Yeah. Well, I kind of think that's everything I have to talk about for now. Sure. We're going to see each other next anything. week, right? Right, because we didn't record last week. So we'll see each other next week. So. Any shows you're going to between now and then, or? Probably not. I'm trying to think of what's going on this weekend. I don't think I really have anything this weekend. I'm going to be sitting out on first Friday, sweating and typing poetry. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Um, That is, what, August 2nd? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be out of town next weekend. I got a tip from my uncle of a place in San Diego called Jupiter Records that I plan to check out. Cool. And we're going to do a couple of things, see some people that I haven't seen in a long time. I'm glad for you that That'll you're nice. escaping this heat. Even for a few days, it's With nice. a fine lady, and mm-hmm. uh, you guys can play in the waves together. That's exactly. sweet. Exactly. Yeah. It'll be nice. Um, I did see a Grateful Dead cover band. Really? How yeah. was that? It was really fun. <laughs> what they were were really they good. called? The Noodles. Okay. They've been playing for years, I guess. They they often will play like the Rhythm Room or Cactus Jacks or mm-hmm. stuff like that. And they were hmm. playing the Crescent. So, and Deanna's been a fan of them for a while and is a big Grateful Dead fan. So That sounds really fun, actually. It I was would a enjoy. lot of fun. I enjoyed it quite bring a Chris. bit. Chris. Tell us next time you go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I would have seen them any of those other places because, yeah. you know. I, I don't know. The Tribute bands are like the thing. I, they've yeah. been around a long time, but right now it's like, damn, there's so many tribute bands. Mm-hmm. Anyway, but yeah, I think that's a, we can wrap it up and All right. be done. And uh, We didn't say any of the social media stuff at the top. Uh, so it's at Hoot and Review on Twitter and Instagram, which we still are not Facebook doing had, anything. It hasn't been Facebook. deleted. It hasn't so. been deleted. <laughs> No, we don't. I mean, I have remembered a couple of times to post through Twitter, but neither yeah. one of us is posting through Instagram. No. Okay. And, um, try to be better. Am I one of the admins on mm-hmm. there? Okay. Yeah. I'll try to find some stuff related to this episode. Uh, Yay. It's, yeah, we should do something so, with it. Later, losers. <laughs> um, yeah. That's another thing about Stranger Things Season 3. Mm-hmm. They use a lot of the lingo. Gotcha. From the 80s. I showed Chris episode one and he was like, oh my God, he's calling his friend Dingus. <laughs> and they're calling each other butt face in the mall. Well, so that's, I mean, that's a whole other topic, but I was, I was talking, um, uh, oh, did we talk about the McCartney show last time? Mm. I, I don't think we've talked since I went to see McCartney. McCartney was awesome. Yeah. It was an amazing show. I saw pictures on Instagram. It looked amazing. I was yeah, jealous of all my friends that got to go. <laughs> uh, and yeah, thanks to Jason, Kyle, I had a really good seat. That was, was great. Talking to, um, but anyway, that's th- isn't that problematic? How do you accurately portray that period of time without using some of the slang you that we to. all used that that is would now just be completely socially unacceptable? It's laughable mm-hmm. to say cowabunga. I mean, I don't know if that was ever a thing that people really said, except for Bart Simpson. Well, and the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nope, they really nailed it with this season. Well, I'll have to go and watch Check it. Check it out. Sure All right. At some point. All right. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> oh, if you're listening, rate and review us. That's the other thing. That would help. 
<laughs> if we know people are listening, write I a got, review. I got f- fan mail for one of the other shows. Oh, um, that's cool. Album Infinitum. Somebody emailed me from England because they were listening to all the squeeze episodes of the show. Great. Um, so yeah, yeah. Encouragement. Email us. Send us stuff. Share our stuff. Like our stuff. Etc. Or tell us to go away. <laughs> Either way, give us some sort of message. Some Indifference kind of, we is know the you're worst. Out there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's it. Bye. This has been a Hoon Waddle production. If you enjoyed this podcast, why not check out one of our other fine podcasts available from hootenwaddle.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or any number of podcast apps. If you'd like to support Hoot and Waddle and get access to an exclusive member-only podcast, receive discounts on merch, and more, go to patreon.com forward slash Hoot and Waddle.